Hello everybody. Today we're gonna to be practicing our weaving by weaving a snake in between some blades of grass. So you're gonna start with a blue paper and half a sheet of green paper. And the first thing you're gonna do is you take your little green paper and at the bottom, you're just gonna fold it up a little bit. So I'm folding it up and then I'm unfolding it. And you can see that I've made a line. So I'm gonna be now cutting my paper and I don't wanna go past that line when I cut. So just so you guys can see, and, and you might wanna do this just to help yourself, I'm gonna just trace over that line. And I don't wanna go past it with my scissors. So I'm gonna flip it up so it's easier to cut. And so I'm not going all the way to the edge, I'm just going to the line. So promise me you will do the same thing. So I'm just gonna start down here and I'm gonna snip, 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 stop at the line. Snip, 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 stop at the line. And I'm just gonna keep doing that. Snip, snip, stop at the line. Now you don't want teeny, 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 tiny blades of grass or it's gonna be really hard to weave your snake between them. So make sure they have a little bit of thickness to them. But also it is important that you go to the line. You don't wanna do this. You don't wanna stop like right there in the middle. That's gonna make it hard to weave. You want to go to the line, but not past the line. So now it looks like I have a hula skirt. I'm gonna flip this. Well, actually I'm gonna put the glue on this side since I drew the line. I don't want people seeing my line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my glue stick and just on the bottom, I'm not putting it here, I'm not putting it there, I'm not putting it there, just at the bottom, below the line, I'm gonna put some glue. So I'm just gonna draw the line below the line with glue stick. Now I'm gonna take my blue paper and right at the very bottom of the paper, I'm going to glue down my grass, but I want this to be loose right now because I'm ready to weave my snake. So you're going to get a snake and you're gonna color it whatever colors you want and then you're going to cut it out. All right, so now I'm gonna start at one end and I'm going to go over one blade of glass, grass, not glass, grass, and then under the next one. And then I'm gonna go over and then under. So every other one, I wanna pick it up. So I skip one, then I pick it up. And I skip one, and then I pick it up. And I skip one, pick it up. And then I, I'm just gonna stop here because if I go here, then I'm gonna cover his face and I want you to be able to see his face. So I'm just gonna stop right there. I'm gonna keep my snake here. And now what I'm gonna do, because if I just left it like this, as soon as I pick my paper up, my snake would fall out. So what I need to do now is I need to take my glue stick and I'm gonna go down the line and glue down my blades of grass. But before I do that, to make it look a little more like grass, I'm gonna just kind of snip the top edges and you can do this before you glue it down miss trick just forgot it's up to you but i'm just going to kind of cut them at different angles and it makes it look a little bit more like blades of grass because they aren't generally flat on top they are usually pointy so i'm going to make some pointy blades of grass and you can do it after you glued it down or you can do it before you glue it down some of that. All right, now I'm ready to glue my blades of grass down. So take that glue stick, go down the line, and glue every one of your grass blades down so your snake doesn't escape. You don't want it getting loose in the classroom. Okay, so the last thing you can do, if you want to add details to your sky, you can. That's up to you. You can think about, is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it snowing in the springtime? We know what that's like, right? 
Maybe I'll have a few birds kind of flying off in the distance. Some fluffy clouds could be in my sky. All right, so take your time on this and really try to practice your weaving and have an incredible art class.